Hey there. If you're thinking about getting out there on the road with the big rigs and driving a rig, an RV, or even a bus, then have we got great news for you. Southwest Truck Driver Training can get you trained and rolling in as little as four weeks. They offer lifetime job placement support. They have special military programs, a financial aid program, including grant applications, and so much more to offer you. Plus, they are family owned business right here in the southwest they have world-class training for class a and b cdls hazmat endorsement training rv training and of course a refresher course if you need one and did we mention they have three locations which are phoenix tucson and north las vegas so we don't know why you're sitting there channel surfing on a tv when you could be learning to drive and roll down the road to earning a great living today go to their website SWTDT.com to learn more about Southwest Truck Driver Training to shift your career into high gear. Tell them you heard about them on the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show. We love them. You will too. Psst. Hey, it's me, Patrick. Just wanted to remind you don't forget to go sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's 18wheeltalk.com forward slash YouTube. And get subscribed so that you can get our videos and see our videos and everything video. Later, taters. Break a one nine. Break one nine for radio check. 18 Wheels. Welcome to the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show. We're a podcast for truckers, about truckers, by truckers. Coaching generations of drivers while guiding them on their path to success. Fueling them with knowledge and passion for trucking. Navigating Navigating the the industry industry one one mile mile at a time. Uh oh. What? My video was weird. <laughs> uh oh. My the settings are way off. Are they? Yeah, look. Look at the screen. Off by a smidge. Oh, you're you're typing, you mean? No. Off by a smidge. Oh. <laughs> the ratios. I got the ratio set up wrong. So you're, well, I'm almost in the screen is what you're saying. You're almost in the screen. Welcome to the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show. So where do I have to be to be in the screen? No, you're good. Just stay right where you're at. You're in. You're in. That's that's all that matters. Well, if I go. Here, I tell you what, for today, I'll just switch it. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll be almost out of the screen. <laughs> you can just switch it back I just forth. switch it. See? You just go this way and then that way. I just switch it. That's okay. <laughs> Only you, Patrick. Man, I'll teach you to mess with stuff with that testing. Listen, you know, I got, I, you know, I at least I got the ghost in the fucking machine out. Okay. That's, that's a, that's an A plus here, right here. now. Let me just take the, the, the line and. No, and oh. I, I wish I could do that. I wish I could just like, you know, take the mouse and put it right here and just kind of. Push and pull. You know, just. Here, hold on. Let me see. Right click, remove. Is, Oops, we, you got me on the wrong side. I'm looking like I know you're. Uh, you it feels weird. All right, I'll put you back over here. I don't care if I'm in the show. There you go. I don't care if I just sit over here. <laughs> God no. It's good. I just here. Let's exit full screen. Here, how's that? Is that better? <sighs> no, I, it's not better. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's not better. It's just not better. Let me look at it on Book of Face. It's okay. Well, sorry, people. Sorry about your ears. Yeah, it's it's full screen on Facebook. You now you can you I can't see half my face. I'm sorry. Like half my face. Well, you got to lean over. I don't know. You're leaning the wrong way. Am I? Yeah. I don't know. Lean towards me. Lean on me. That's that's away from me. There. Stop. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you get to see. What uh, are you doing? Trying to make it so I don't have to lean to talk. Can you see me now? No, that's why I said you got to. Well, I moved my camera. See, it doesn't matter. You don't. Oh, moving the computer doesn't work. Yeah, moving the computer don't work. Does this work? No. Does this work? Yes. Okay, there we go. Sit fucking still. Stop fucking moving. <laughs> I told you I'll be on the opposite side this time. <laughs> Holy crap shit. <laughs> Hi, Jada. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, listen, listen. If you guys could see us without a, a without any lag tonight, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. 
You know, hey. I don't care. I'll be half a screen tonight. No, Fuck switch it. it back. I got it fixed. I can sit still. No, no you can't. I can too. <laughs> Try me. All right. See, you're moving. <laughs> I just turned to see if you switched it. I did switch it. Okay. Hey, what now, everybody's going like, because we kept moving <laughs> the screen. I'm so sorry, people. Uh, now watch, watch. See, see now watch. Nothing's going to show up now. No, it's there. No, no, all the hot keys. No, Facebook. Uh, see? <laughs> oh, you see your thumbs. Watch. All right. Watch this. <laughs> it's okay it's Patrick. all right i got the i got the i got the i got the the they call it the aspect ratios off but the way i look at it is there's no hiccups uh ran out of time on testing it so we'll ask, deal with it tonight and we'll why. have we'll have it fixed later that's why no the reason is the hbo cinemax is like free on Cox, this this like I think it ends today, so we got sucked into a movie. That's what happened. Honest engines. Yeah, I was sleeping because I've been sick. This Anyways, is. welcome to the eight day we all talk podcast show. <laughs> hey, I am your host Patrick. Over there is Miss Janet. Oh, wait, over here is Miss Janet. Yeah, in the in the little box is Miss Janet. I need like a line. No, you know what? I'm gonna give you a line. What's my line, Patrick? Give you a line. Gonna give you a little laugh, a little humor, and a little hey, what's going on today? Well, today we are the 18 Wheel Talk Podcast Show. Tomorrow we might be shut down. Fuck it. <gasps> you swore and we're, we're hey, you know what? Wow. I, I, I got time out for a second. This is how prepared we are. Let me shine some light on the subject. Here. Yes, HBO rocked. What's up, everybody? Woohoo! Oh, we were in my square. It was like like playing Hollywood Squares. You remember Hollywood Squares? The guys used to always jump from one square to another. X takes the mark. (laughs) Mm -hmm. All right. Now my microphone's in the wrong spot, but that's okay. Now we can hear. As long as you can hear me, it's all good. Now we can see me. Oh my God, I was in the shadows. It's all good. You can see him and you can see the, my peach fuzz. It's how it looks like in front. <sighs> so what are we talking about today? Not HBO. Not HBO. No. I got sucked down that rabbit hole. Thank you, Lenore. It was really nice watching movies when you can't like breathe. Yes, it was. It was It was actually nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, pardon me. So last week. We tried. We We tried talking about. Uh, Janet posed a question to me about food. And we tried talking about food, but it was a little hiccupy. So we We're, figured we'd revisit it. Yes, we went back in time and decided to try food again. <laughs> well, you know, try talking about food right. again. At least the pug's out of the way now. I don't, I don't have to run run a pug over. They're where they belong, next to mommy. Yeah, well, it was on her. She was under my feet, oh, under my that. feet, under my wheels, under my wheels. OMG, whatever. So anyways, welcome to the show, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And if you are with us last night for our first ever game night. Thank you. We, we are definitely going to do it again. We, we may even just do it next week. And if you missed it, I'm so sorry. Oh, my you God. It was time. hilarious. Go we back and watch the video. We had fun. Go back and watch the video. And and join us this Sunday because I think we're going to do it this Sunday. You want to do it this Sunday? If I can breathe. If you can breathe, you're going to breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Cough. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. You'll be Cough. fine. You'll be fine. You'll be good. So. So, anyways, we my are, question. Your go ahead. My Sorry. question for Patrick is. Favorite foods, you know, what type of foods do you like? Yeah, what type of foods do you all like? Like, I have like a whole list of questions. All right, so so, so Janet posed that question, posed that question to me, and my answer was favorite food when you're when when we're at home. What's your favorite food? And Janet's cooking because I love it when Janet cooks. Obviously, it, it we used both to do. be used to be white lasagna. Okay. 
And then she, she had this brainiac idea. Hey, I got something brewing in my head. Uh, and usually when Janet says that, oh, trust me, it's going to be good. So she had said, I'm making chicken enchiladas. Oh, my God. Hands down. Hands down. My all-time favorite now. Brand new favorite. Oh. I'm just saying. Because mm-hmm. it's not just like, wait. It's not just like chicken. It's chicken and green chilies. Chicken enchiladas with green chilies. Oh, my and God. Cheese. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this here. Or at row. Hold on. Let's see if I can do it. So if he loses yeah, you, this. sorry. No, no, no. I just gotta, I just gotta He's adjust. playing with buttons. I just got to adjust things a little. Email us at Patrick at 18 Wheel Talk, and I will make sure Janet has a recipe for you if you want the chicken enchilada recipe. I'll share it with you. But you got to email us for it. Yeah, and let's see if I can do this. Let's see. If you haven't done so yet, <laughs> go to our Facebook page and like it. <laughs> there it is. Go like our Facebook page because game nights and some, we're going to do some special stuff just for Facebook people, you know? So please, please, please go like our Facebook page. Here, I thought he was going to make my half the screen a little bigger so I, I could, can't. I already went into the I'm settings. I'm teasing to try. you. I can't Tease, do it. It, te- won't, it won't let te- me. I'd have to te- stop teasing everything. And... Patrick? Yes, dear. So we're going to talk more about food or more about yes, do computer it. glitches. Go ahead. Talk. Okay, so my question to, we got Shirley and Jada and Lenora. What are your favorite foods to eat at home? Like home-cooked meal, what's your favorite food to eat? That would be the first question. Bueller. 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 No sound. Got sound. Do, 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 do. Who got sound? Who don't have sound? Who's Jada got sound? Jada didn't, then she does. Oh, okay. So, yeah, what is your, what's your favorite meal? Home cooked or, or takeout? Now, what's it, your favorite takeout? Now, if it's takeout, oh, it's hands down, General Chow's chicken. Well, and that's different from restaurant eating, too. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite takeout. takeout is definitely General Chow's chicken. And then if we're going to actually go sit in a restaurant... It's, yes, it's either going to be Applebee's or or uh, Texas Roadhouse. Yes, Lenore, ha ha, home cooked meal. You have had them before, didn't Jimmy used to cook for you? Yeah, yeah. Come on now, don't lie, don't lie. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, yeah, right. Lenore had a home. Lenore had a what? home. <laughs> so, anyways, what's your favorite microwave dinner, Lenore? Yeah. Yeah. TV I, dinner. Now I'm only picking on her because I love her and she knows that. Uh, so, anyways, hey, before I forget, in the chat box, just just give us a hashtag as to where you're watching us. You know, if you're watching us on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, just I, I'm trying to keep track as to where our all our, our viewers are watching us from. So, just give us a hashtag and where you're watching us. That would be great, please. Surely, I just drooled. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and white gravy with green beans. We call that country gravy where I'm from. Oh, my God. My stomach just growled, and we just hate. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, just had pizza from Papa John's. Way to go, Lenore. What was on it? What was your toppings? Listen, Shirley, you know, we're, we're, not the, we're not the grammar police. Green, oh, green you know, beans was Shirley, fine. <laughs> it was fine being green beans because I never even noticed. <laughs> Oh, Thanksgiving dinner. There you go. You well, had Thanksgiving dinner pizza? What? How does that I work? I think she means her favorite home-cooked meal is Thanksgiving oh, dinner. Oh, yeah. yeah Dipsy right. doodle. Mine, too. That's what well, you just said. I like, listen, I like food, okay? And if Janet's cooking, I'm there. Oh, see, she likes my favorite pizza. Pepperoni. Oh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
I didn't. I don't recall an invite for pizza, but that's okay. I don't know if Jade is still with us, but if so, she sure is quiet back I there, know, right? She but just she, went home to her mama's. You think she got? You think she got something it's late. to eat? It's it's late. It's oh, eight, it's eight thirty almost. Oh my god! <laughs> do the do they now go to bed on the east coast at eight thirty at night? Eight twenty one. Oh my god! Poor it's, thing. It's possible. She might. She's, she she's not. She's listen, ten she, pictures into a margarita. I don't think so. I don't think she is. Yeah, no. But anyways. So I digress. Let's continue. Yes. So. So. Nobody wants to hashtag it. Uh, these three I know are on Facebook. Nobody wants to hashtag. It. So, there's five types of palettes. Did you know that? There's five different palettes. Types of palettes. Like, well, I know there's wooden ones and plastic ones. Not plates. Palettes. Wrong types of pallets. I'm not talking oh. about the types you put on the back of a semi. <laughs> oh, Bill okay. said fried pork chops, fried potatoes, smothered in country gravy. Okay, Bill, leave the country gravy off the pork chops and fried potatoes. Add in some fried onions on those potatoes and. Mm. Mm. Yeah, says, mm. we're talking my food. Them's my people's. Damn it, Bill. Yeah, you can tell we're from similar types of states. You, you <laughs> Southerners, I'm telling you. Bright, Midwestern. Midwestern. So, y'all, y'all. There's sweet palates, sour palates. Y'all. <laughs> Who said y'all? I did. Well, y'all quit picking on me now. Y'all. I'll tell on you. Sweet palates, sour palates, buttery, bitter palates, salty palates, and there's one that they just defined, apparently, in 2002. It's called umami. Oh, umami. Oh, not yo mommy, umami. Ooh, mommy. Not that either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, surely. She put onions in them. It's oh, basically uh, a savory uh, palate, like really rich foods. That's all I'm talking about, because umami is uh, Ooh, glutamate or Part Sorry. of protein. Okay. All right. So if you, which do you like best? Sweet, sour, bitter, salty, or savory foods is my question for everybody. It, starting with you, Patrick. I like what? what? Sweet. Sweet. Yes. Sour. Yes. Bitter. Yes. Salty. Yes. Or savory, real rich foods. Uh -huh. Which is your favorite? All of the above. Of course it is. <laughs> Lenore says sweet. That's what my sister would have said, too. I mean. And you can mix, too. I mean, yeah. you don't have to pick one. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I like them all in, in varieties. Mm -hmm. You know, it all depends on what we're having. Depends on what's for dinner. He likes whatever I cook is what he's trying to say. I like food. That's what I'm saying. I just like food. That's it. Just I like food. I like food and you can't deny these other cooks can then sure can try. Yeah. I don't have a rhyme. I I'm like sorry. Janet's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so, in the booking yet. So <laughs> that's just wrong. I think for me, it'd be salty. If I had to pick just one salty. Yeah, Shirley just said the same thing. Salty more than the others. I agree. True. I, I think I'd go with salty. Like if I had to say, boom, this is it, salty. Like if I eat too much rich foods, it just I just can only have like little bits. I can't handle a lot of rich foods. Itty bits. Itty bitty bits. Itty bits. It it's like um Christmas crack. It's a real rich food, it's even like though crack. it's <laughs> even though it's kind of sweet and salty, it's real rich. I just I just like the microphone. He <laughs> licked the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and my mouth water. But it's real rich. It's real savory. Fudge is real, even though it's real, oh. real sweet. It's real savory. Oh, I love fudge at Christmas time. <laughs> mm, but you wouldn't eat it all year round. I mean, well, you would. But a, a, hello, you know who you're talking to, right? There must be a Tweety Bird echo in here saying stuff that I wanted to think but not say. What? Okay, so anyway, Anywho. so those are the types of palettes, and they say that the integration of 
um, cultures as time has passed by and online is obviously a big thing now. Otherwise you wouldn't be looking at us. This is true. Um, has made for better integration of cultures and changed people's tastes. Like, you know, when we grew up, um, Chinese food was those chow mein cans that had the liquids in the bottom with the meat and vegetables and a little can of chow mein noodles on top and you served it over rice. Um, Cheers to you, Lenore. Bill likes sweet foods. So we're... Oh, I see you, Patrick. Facebook or Facebook? Yeah. FB or Facebook? Yeah. I'm just um, giving people a sample. Here. Whereas now, if you want Chinese food, you can pretty much, in even in a small town, go out for takeout Chinese or go to the grocery store and buy some pretty decent frozen Chinese food and take it home and people actually microwave food. from Yeah. Microwave it or <laughs> cook it. Um, and it's not too bad. Uh, you can buy pretty decent cookbooks you know to if you're into baking making food from scratch and everything too someone's got an angry face somebody gave us an angry face did they i don't know i don't know why somebody gave us an i i don't know i don't know somebody's mad they don't like food maybe they're like me and they think food just makes us fat what well it keeps us alive um but like I said, when I was a kid, you only ate a certain type of food. Right? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah, for yeah, we You picky. grew up with kids, a certain kids, kids are always picky. They have I'm a not, certain palate. So, no, well, they have I'm, a certain palate. I I'm not it, I don't it's okay, Shirley. I don't care who it was. Um it was probably an accident. But anyway, I don't mean as a kid. I mean back in the six fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, and even nineties. People ate the food that their environment, what was around them. Now that computers and online shopping and communities have integrated more, there's a lot more food around you. When you were a kid, was there a Chinese restaurant on every corner in Schenectady? I don't remember. I doubt it. It's possible. No, not really. Thank you. But there was Chinese food. I do remember eating Chinese food when I was a kid. Okay. Was it out of a can? No, it was from the Chinese place. I was just checking. (laughs) It was the takeout joint. Okay, but it wasn't a lot is my point. You didn't eat it all the time. No, no. Okay. No, no, because I don't think mom really liked Chinese food. And I I don't remember. I could have, we could have gone. It was so long ago. Why are you doing this? You're hurting my brain. Stay with us. We'll be right back. If you don't have a dash cam in your semi and you went and spent all that money on it, do you really think that you and your truck are protected against John Q. Public? We don't. That is why we recommend Rexing USA cameras and equipment. Whatever it is you are looking for, whether it be a dash cam, a body cam, a trail cam, or similar, they probably have it. Nearly every new vehicle coming out has a dash cam, and there is a reason for it. Litigation. Yes, welcome to America, the land of litigation. So the best thing you can do is to protect what you own with video and pictures. And their dash cams, boy, let me tell you, their cams do a lot. They have 170-degree ultra-wide angle lenses that will automatically lock in the last video if it feels a vibration from an accident. It has a super capacitor battery backup that is better than lithium for extreme heat or cold. Add in loop recording, a mobile app, and parking monitoring and more. And yes, now you have a really great package for this company of cameras. So come on, check it out at 18wheeltalk.com slash dash cam. That's 18wheeltalk.com slash dash cam. Um, we could have gone to Chinese restaurants or whatever, but I grew up in Podunkville. I mean, the town had less than 3,000 people, so. Horse and buggy town. You got a problem with horses? No. Man, I like horses. I used to ride my horse down to the Dairy Queen. 
the top of the Dairy Queen. <laughs> or the A and W. Thank you. Ooh, A and W's. Yeah. yeah. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Now you're cooking. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So. So. Taste buds have changed because people have integrated more, and America is more mixed than it used to be. It's small towns like the town I grew up in is not the town I grew up in anymore. I get it. There's all sorts of restaurants and all sorts of different foods, even though it's still a small town with, you know, one blinking light on and off. This is true. The um, horse town. But as as everything else has changed, so has food, you know. It's like, do you know that people like the new generation doesn't like to drink? What? Like, I know. That's just shocking. They don't I'm like sorry. This is Margarita Monday. If you're not drinking, then what are you doing here? I know you're here for the entertainment. Okay, I just noticed Shirley's comment: Chinese food in a can. That's what I remember. It uh, was like I remember a, the the choy. I think that's it. what it. Yeah, it was like a can it with was, a little can on top. Yes, yes, a can with a little that. can on top. Yes. Yep. It that's, was like like a hundred years ago. Yeah, it yeah, was pretty it was, much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I remember for Chinese food, and you had a yeah. lot of soy sauce to it. Yeah, you had to. Yeah, yeah. Get the salt intake. Yes. It's okay though. Um, yes, Lenore, <laughs> the not drinking. Um, they say that um, 58% of people in the world have reduced their alcohol con alcohol intake um, in the last year. So we're not talking about people that didn't have access to good grain alcohol like those of us in America and Ireland. Okay. And I hate to say it, Russia and the Ukraine. <laughs> But what, what is wrong with vodka? Yeah. Yes, but, uh, you know, in Canada, and places like that in Europe. But I mean, 58 percent have reduced their alcohol intake. And I just it's due to the war. I, I'm going to blame it on the war. <laughs> Let's face it. It was it's due to the war. It's not economics. It's not health. It's the war. All right. Drink up. <laughs> yes, and that's, everybody take a drink of their vodka. Cheers. I know it says it says drinking water, but it's not. <laughs> These are empty bottles we refilled. Yes. So about a third of the people in the U.S. see natural green ingredients in their cocktails as a factor. Is vodka natural? Beer's natural. It's grain alcohol. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's got hops. It's, it's got, got hops. Got wheat. It's got barley. I mean. Whiskey's natural grain, right? Whiskey. Uh, it's distilled. It's natural, naturally distilled. <laughs> it's put in a barrel and, and it's ages. Okay, but so is cheese. I know. It's natural then. It's natural. It came from a cow. <laughs> the cow ate the grass. The grass, <laughs> the cow okay. gave us milk and All we right. made cheese out of it. All it's right. natural. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. I like cheese. I'm with you. And alcohol. I'm with you. Vodka's potatoes. There we go. I like that. Shirley says she thinks she increased in the last year. I know I did. Yeah, I think we all did. <laughs> that's why this 58% decrease. No, I increased. This is horror swa- hog swallows, whatever you want to call it. Hogwash. Hogwash. Yeah. This that's is hogwash. Whoever um, came up with this is just. It, but they're saying that because there's been a decrease in alcoholic consumption, that 80 percent of retailers have said. The that, and crown. Eighty <laughs> percent of retailers have said they're taking the the space that they've lost or gained in the alcohol area and they're adding more fresh produce. I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. They must be talking to too many Generation Zs and Xs and Xs and Os and, and everything O's and, in between. So, yeah. So so my next question is, do you like vegan food? What? Patrick, do you like vegan food? Depends on what you're talking about. I don't know. Do Meatless? I? I don't know. Do I? Sometimes. Why? why look at the camera. Sorry, I'm, staring at, I'm staring at you in the camera. You, you're not even looking at me. I'm sorry. I was looking at you the other way. Do you like sometimes you like vegan food, Patrick? Patrick, yes, dear. look at me on camera. Oh, yes, dear. 
<laughs> sure, <laughs> Lenore says no. Sometimes Patrick's like vegan food. For instance, that's what I said. I don't know. It depends on what you make. If you made vegan food, then yes, I've had it. Uh, I made red beans and quinoa. Yeah, that's pretty good. That you liked a lot. Yep. yep. But then you throw in some hamburger and it's even better. <laughs> but you like it when I experiment with flavors. And yes, I do. And I've done things to make our food healthier that you liked. Yeah. I saw that face. What? Yeah. Yeah. That. What? what? You aren't Elvis. <laughs> listen, listen, you, you said the healthy word. Okay, you <laughs> liked it when I when I gave you spaghetti squash. That's not bad. Uh, that actually tastes really good. It's squash. Not bad and really good. It's are squash. Two different things. It's squash. It's a vegetable to me. I don't care what you want to call it. You can call it spaghetti if you want. Okay. Okay. But it it, 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 if it looks like squash. It tastes like squash. It's squash. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> so do you like it when um you walk in the house and the house smells like food oh i love it when you make the house smell like food it makes me hungry okay my question is for like shirley and lenore and bill in the background bill in the background but bill does a lot of cooking i know that he does a lot of eating lenore too. says no <laughs> why not lenore she would hate coming up why don't you like it when house smells like food i know right I or, even use food scented candles. She, maybe she doesn't like spaghetti squash. What is the no about Lenore? You're on. You're on. You're on. It's your time. I, I if I had the spotlight, I'd hold it on you. The spotlight is on Lenore. <laughs> I look like I'm fighting. Do 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 do. Waiting for the north. To yeah, I just answer. like the fact that I just like to say that no yes, veggies. Yes, I mean the. Uh, I mean yes, the stream's off just a little bit, but it there's no fucking lag, and I know you all heard me say the f word again, again. Oh, I am so winning this one. I'm going to ten tonight. <laughs> you mean you're not there yet? Hell no. Oh, I forgot. Health is swearing. Health is swearing. Only in Janet's book. <laughs> she doesn't like the smell of old fish. I concur. I agree. Nobody. I don't think anybody likes the smell of old fish. No, I like fish. But we always cooked it outside at the camp. Yeah. You know, when we, at, on the grill. Yeah. I mean, well, on the campfire. Yes. Cast iron skillet. Yeah. Yar. Yes, that's the best way to cook it. That way it doesn't the stink best. up the house or the cabin. The best way. I concur. So, Lenore, I'm going to sneak veggies in when I cook for you. <laughs> Look at this. Look at me, smarty pants. Everybody likes the smell of bacon, Bill. Yeah, right, Bill. I'm uh, with you. I'm with you, buddy. We're with you. I'm with you on that one. There's very, let me rephrase. I know of like maybe two people that don't like the smell of bacon. I'm not one of them. Just the dos. What's uh, what's Bill's favorite food? Look, I fixed it. <laughs> Sorry. I am it's, so it's, proud of you. It's honey. the little things that I it's get. The I get little it. things it's the that, little things. I'm telling you. Give me a high five. I don't know. Right. High five. I, I'm lost. I... Right here. Over here. No, over here. here. High five. No, this way. High five. I'm working on it. Okay, <laughs> I just I'm lost, people. It's the little things. Yeah, it's, it's the little, little things. See, we're on Facebook. <laughs> got it. I got it to work. Oh, yes. I got Facebook to work, anyways. He's got Facebook to work, and he's got the 18 wheel talk at the top. Oh, know, look, I Facebook know. went floating across the screen. I know, right? Yes. Don't forget. Like, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we're live. Okay, so I was glancing through my notes here, and how people say that she they're... didn't even hear me say it. What? Otherwise, she would have sang. What? I look. I said. I said, make sure you like, and subscribe, and ring the bells. You can ring our bell. 
Hallelujah, oh, good ring. Patrick's bell, ding uh, dong. He's I'm just saying, I, I moved it up so people could see it. I'm sorry, I didn't. That's okay. You're allowed, baby. So they're talking about, in the notes that I picked up, um, from Transparently Delicious. They talk about uh, floral flavors and bittersweet flavors and umami flavors, which umami. savory, not umami, savory flavors. But you know, that's how they're saying it. I know. Umami. My nose itches. Someone must be talking about me. So, what? but they also talk about how, remember they're saying that 58% of people worldwide said that they're drinking less alcohol. Yeah, those people are out of their mind. Um, sales of non-alcoholic spirits rose non 113%. Can someone tell me what a non-alcoholic spirit is? <laughs> it's a spirit. Casper the, the it, friendly it, ghost? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a spirit that went away. Stay with us. We'll be right back. So, you say you like tools. Now, are we talking about normal people like them or Tim the Toolman Taylor like them? Because if you're like the two of us, it is definitely in the Tim the Toolman Taylor's range. I have never been bored when shopping for tools. So, here's what you do. Head on over to 18wheeltalk.com slash jbtools. It will take you to their site, which will normally give you a discount, a chance in a giveaway, join the rewards club. Or something really great like that. Then start browsing to your heart's delight. Whether you're looking for power tools, hand tools, 25 ton jack stands, or gardening tools, they have got you covered. So take a few minutes to follow the link 18wheeltalk.com slash JB tools and jewel over a few tools while you're there. Non alcoholic beverage section. I don't even want to know. Are those like near beer? Remember is it, near is beer? There, is there a near beer? Yeah, there's a near it's beer. Like, is that like almost? <laughs> <laughs> is that vegan? <laughs> that's vegan, right? Surely, surely that's vegan, right? <laughs> for, for those out there, Shirley says pot. <sighs> what kind of pot? The black pot? <laughs> Stainless steel pot? Or, or is it the green weedy pot? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> yep. Yep. All the above. All right. All right. So, so let's see if I got this fixed. Let's see. So you can email us at Patrick at 18 wheeltalk.com. And Janet will, if you want the recipe for chicken enchiladas. For medicine. And... Yes, medicinal purposes. I agree. Obviously, I need it. It's for the glaucoma. And chest. It's for my cough. If you're new here, please go over to our Facebook page and like us on Facebook. You can search for us uh, in the search bar, 18 Wheel Talk. Uh, we're on, on, on Instagram. I think it's called Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. It's a bubble. We're on Instagram. Uh, we're there. We have an account. We just haven't done much with it. We will we will be doing more with it. Uh, we're on Twitter and and uh, we, most everything that we do goes on Twitter. And we got a Twitch channel. Welcome in Twitchers. I, I think that's what you did. Hello, that's, Twitchers. I think I think you guys are called Twitchers. Did you like that? <laughs> and we're on YouTube. All right. Well, I got that out of the way. <laughs> okay. I just had to, had to do all that. You know, now that I got it all adjusted somewhat, now I got to readjust it afterwards because I got to reset. So if you so, go on, like most people, you know, on the um, the reels and on uh, you mentioned Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, 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 and you watch Instagram reels and all the different food ideas. Yes, everybody and, posts food pictures now. I could, I've I done why, it. I do sometimes. I don't get it. I don't get it, but okay, you know, because it I'm makes like, me hungry. I'm like, oh, look how pretty my new plates are with the food. Even though it's like sped up, like little little meals. Remember, I always show you, hey, honey, can you make this? Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, this looks yummy. We should make this. I Yeah. But a lot of people, if they're 
if their job is to present food, that's their it's resume. It's presentation. Yeah. If it looks good, the it one, tastes good. Uh, I can't think of her name. She, she works at Kroger's. Um, she works part time at Kroger's and she her job is for food presentation. Oh, I don't remember. You know who I'm talking about, though? I think so. I know you know who. But anyway, her job is she goes and does food presentation for pictures for. You're not talking about Rachel Ray, are you? A f- we know her oh, we know for her. locally. Oh, she works part time for Kroger's yeah, giving yeah, out yeah. a I say handouts, but samples. Yes, yes. Yeah, she's giving out handouts. <laughs> she, she gives out samples. <laughs> I can't. Think and of, her full time job slips me. and her full time. I want to say it's Audrey. No. But, and her full time uh, job right. is food presentation for menus. OK. And magazines. Yes. So. Those things, when you look at her Pinterest or her Instagram, that's her yeah. that's her resume. Yep. So I get her having all those pictures. Yep. Me, it's just fun to oh, see yeah. how it compares. Well, like said, yeah. Well, you, you know, like you like to rub it in. You send them to my sister and say, look what we're having. Yeah, that too. I'm like, yeah. hey, guess what we're eating tonight? You're not. Yeah, we're eating this tonight. Um, but there's over um like 13 million hashtags about food. I don't even know, like a month about presentations on food. <laughs> Shirley says, I never look at food pictures. I've seen some of your food pictures, Shirley. She belongs to a food <laughs> group because a friend asked her. I've seen some of your food pictures, though. You may not look at them, but I've seen you post some. Or, or is that just a picture of Bill eating food? Those are pictures of Bill eating food out. No, no, she made him something. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Birthday she, anniversary or something. Yeah. Birthday. And she when she cooks with uh, her new skillets and stuff in yeah. the RV, she did those. Yeah. Two. Yeah. So there, Shirley, I just called you out. She did post that. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Um, but the other big trend with food. I'm a stalker. <laughs> I stalked the pugs and her and Bill. Yeah. Mostly Ma- mainly blood. Steffi and, and Smokey. Yes. Yeah. Because especially once I got kisses. Anyway. The cutest little things. Yes, they are. Okay. Don't tell our pugs. Yeah, no. It's on the down low. Um, Thursday, food nostalgia. That's for that's my own brothers to look at. <laughs> um Nostalgia, like people cooking things that their parents or their mom or their dad or whomever their grandparents used to cook. And there's dishes that I do that are that. Then there's only certain times a year I cook them, like homemade cranberry sauce, my grandma's recipe, or like applesauce um, certain times a year, you know, at holidays, mom's and grandma's recipes, or um, like when I don't feel good, there's only certain types of soup that I want, but I want to use my own recipe because it was my mom's or my grandma's or whatever, you know, same thing for him. What? Uh, oh, okay. I, I'm trying to stay on the same page, except for some reason, my pages got mixed up. Boots. I know. I'm on that page now. Okay. We're on boots. I don't know. Somebody mixed up my papers. It might've been me, but I think it was a pug. I threw him under the bus. Anyways, it's a lifestyle. Like yeah. you said. Yeah, it's not just like with music or fashion or anything. Just like clothes come back around, so does food. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like for the longest time, nobody wanted meatloaf. What? Now meatloaf's back in fashion. I, I say that's what? because of me. Listen, I, I at work, all right, now when, when, uh, when, when meatloaf died, the boss asked me to do something. I said, no, I can't. He says, why? I said, well, I'm a little distraught that meatloaf died. I said, now I got to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. And he just kind of looked at me and he goes, what? I was like, never mind. I'm just messing with you. He goes, oh, good. (laughs) Yes, Lenore, Grandma's chocolate chip cookies. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Driver, if you haven't tried any of Mother Trucker Yoga's products, have we got news for you? The news is you are missing out on some great products that really do work. So. You're probably sore from a long day and just don't know where to even start looking, right? Well, driver, stop right there. You don't have to wonder anymore. These products were all designed with the professional truck driver in mind. And the Stiff Mother Trucker Pain Relief Cream is 100% natural. 
as in all the junk that you don't need on your body is not in it. It is paraben-free, gluten-free, sulfate-free, and artificial dye-free. Probably made right here in the USA. Road-tested, trucker-approved. It relieves sore muscles, soothes pain and inflammation from bee stings and insect bites. It calms that back pain from driving those long, hard roads, helps alleviate foot pain, helps reduce wrist pain, elbow pain, and stiffness in the neck and shoulders from poor sleep or overuse. In other words, if your body is feeling bruised and bumped up from that ever-intensive truck driver life, then Stiff Mother Trucker Pain Relief Cream is the answer to what you are asking. Just ask the crew at A&E Shipping Wars. They will let you know. So go to 18wheeltalk.com slash resources and look for Mother Trucker Yoga to find this and many more great products. Oh, damn you with those sweets. So anyways. Oh, you, re- you really did mess up my paper. I didn't. I moved one page. Steffi must have snuck in and moved the Which others. One? Which one? Which uh, one? Is it this one? Or, yes. Or is it this one? It's this one. Or is it this one? Which you one? pick which one you want to go to. You tell me which one we're on because you don't want to put them in order. We're on this one. We already passed that one. Oh, well, how did I miss this one? I don't know. You were listening. <sighs> it's hard to do a show nowadays. Well, and it's the fact that someone in the room doesn't feel the greatest. And, and I'm going to throw myself under the bus and say that. And you said it's my excuse because it's true. That's your excuse. Um, okay. I believe. So what they're talking about for this year about food. I'm trying really hard not to cough. Is that people want to be more transparent, want their food to be more transparent. Um by that, I mean, they want, when they look at package labeling, they want to know what's yeah, in Yeah, they want to know what the hell's in it now. I've always wanted to know what was I mean, in the yeah, food. You know. I've always been a label reader. I've always been the one that stands there at the grocery store and does this. I've always been the one that reads the labels and the price per ounce, not the price per pound or yeah. not the price per package. Because a package might cost you two seventy eight, and another package might cost you three sixty nine. But when you get down to the price per ounce, the three sixty nine might still be cheaper. Yeah, when you get down to the brass tacks, you know, <laughs> let it out, girl. Just let it out. <laughs> Easy now. Yeah, she's got a she's got a cough for whatever reason, just won't go away. I don't know. Please take a drink. I gotta tell her to drink her goddamn grain alcohol. You think she'd wanna? Just saying. I know. I think you're gonna need your cough syrup a little more than one once at night. So, so anyways, <clears throat> she's just getting over whatever it is she's been working on getting out, get, getting over with. So. And it's okay. Do it and get over with. You're on camera. Remember that. I know. All right. Let's go. You can talk. I I am. Uh, you know, everybody wants to be more, you know, more transparency in their food labels because they want to know what the hell they are putting in it. You know, what what's going on. Right? Yes. All right. They want more plant-based alternatives. I'm sorry, this way. I thought I was said the right way. He's pushing me out, I'm of pushing out of the way. I meant to pull you. My bad. That better? Yes. Okay, they want more plant-based alternatives. I don't know who these we are, but... Yeah, this, this we shit is for the birds, just so you know. They say sweetness modification. They want less sugar in their diets. What the hell? Pardon me. I'm going to cuss. Okay, you can write it down in your notes. What the fuck is waking people up in the morning except caffeine and sugar? Exactly. Hello, mother truckers. <laughs> Cup of coffee with espresso and sugar. That's what wakes my ass up in the morning. I don't know what's waking other people up, but that's what gets me going. 
Usually I have a cup of coffee in the morning and then I pop a top on an energy drink. I do one or two a week, maybe. You yeah. Know. One leaves to last me three days. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, so I hope, I hope you guys are finding this episode interesting. Yeah, it's mostly about what you like. But there's, of course, then they're talking about the health benefits and the functional delivery and... Do you use, you know, all the different delivery methods? And if someone's interested in delivery methods, we do recommend um, Instacart. Yes. That's where I don't break your eggs. They do or they don't. Yeah, right. Yes, Shirley. There are people on Earth who do not drink coffee. My brother, Jamie, is one of them. James, my oldest brother, does yeah. not drink coffee. I don't know why. He just don't. I, I don't know what tree he fell out he, of. He, but He drank Mountain Dew, didn't he? Yes. See, there's his caffeine. He doesn't anymore. He doesn't, but he did. He did. That's why he didn't drink coffee, because he got his caffeine from soda. Yeah, but then <laughs> post-heart attack, Jamie doesn't. Exactly. That's okay. Yeah. I'm with him. I gave up drinking soda. Um, I only have it, like, I guess when we're out. When, yeah. When, and, I, when I know I got to drive, I have, <laughs> I have a... And I drink... A non-alcoholic beverage. And I drink... <sighs> Like uh, clear soda, you know, I'm not going to pick anyone, but Sprite, Slice, Seven Up, Mountain Dew, or not Mountain Dew, Slice, Sprite, Seven Up, Ginger that, Ale. Good. You're good. You're good. Any one of those. And I add salt to them when I have a stomach ache because it works just like Alka Seltzer, only cheaper. What? Cheaper. Wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, but yeah, Instacart. And I have used it a couple times. Yeah, Instacart's really good. And if you go to um, the number one, the number eight, wheeltalk.com, put a little slash there, uh, Instacart, and you go to their website, that'll tell them that we sent you, and that'll, and that'll help support our show. And I think they have a coupon, or I think I have a coupon for them right now. I'm not sure. Well, we'll, we'll if switch you, around. If, if we got a coupon code or something, we'll put it, we'll, we'll drop it in the comments. Yeah. Or if you want one, just email him and I'll find yeah, it. Email me, Patrick at hemealtalk.com. But I figure that I know this, like I said, it's about what you like, but anything because of the price of gases, I hate to bring that up, is so freaking outrageous. I don't even want to talk about your diesel fuel right now. Shirley and Bill. Everybody, every, um, but everybody's feeling the stuff. pinch, everybody. and because of that, groceries going up and everything else. If you can save a buck, and you need to know how to save a buck when it comes to grocery shopping, I can tell you how. Go to our episode Twenty Five Ways to Save. Mm -hmm. I might be doing a sequel to that. Yep. We got Twenty Five Ways to Save episode twenty eight. Forty. I think it was forty two. Oh, shows how much I, I know. I think. Don't quote me on it. Here, hold on. I He's gonna a, go find I it. I could do a I could do a I could do a look see. I could. Here. There we go. I'm like, where'd the other phone go? Let me do a look. I had it. Let me look. Let me do a look see. So anyway, we're about done. But I like I, I said, believe, I wanted him to find like that said, episode. I believe it was. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I actually do know and I'm related to several people who don't drink coffee. But um, with the exception of my brother, I think the rest of them drink uh, plenty of soda or sweet tea. My nephew. Yeah, you you drank a lot of sweet tea. You did. Yeah, I said did. Yeah, I, I'm like, I, I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of coffee. For me, it was caffeine from sun up to sundown. I used to drink caffeine 24 seven. Mm hmm. Uh, no, that was child obesity, 42. Uh, all right. I will find it. Hold on. Try 20 something. Uh, I want to say it was. Try 34. He's looking. I'm sorry for the delay. No, that was wrong way drivers. <laughs> wrong way drivers. Don't get me started on that. We're getting Fuck it up the highways. So he never asked me what my favorite food is. I did at one time ask you what your favorite food was. You just neglected to answer it. In this show? Um, yes. Today? I, I believe so. Nope. Surely, what, but who needs sleep, drink caffeine? <laughs> what is what is your favorite food? I thought about it a lot. 
And I would have to say my mom, my mom <coughs> recipe. Right now, I'd say it's cough drops. Well, put something. Do something. Um, my mom's recipe: spaghetti sauce. You know, uh-huh. I like my spaghetti sauce that I make based on my mom's recipe. I like everything you make. Um, and then when we go out, um, episode probably, thirty-seven was twenty-five see, ways to save. I thought it was twenty-seven. It was thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Twenty-five ways to save. We also had, I think it was episode twelve. We 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 did episode twelve. We did a bunch, and then episode thirty-seven. We added that in the comments. So if you go to the number one, the number eight, wheeltalk.com slash the letter E. Three seven, or click on the episode library. It's episode thirty seven. So there's more ways to save. Yes, that's why we label it twenty five ways to save money because we combine the, the the episode twelve with episode thirty seven. If that makes sense. Yes, that does make sense. Oh, good. So anyway. Oh, good. And. I forgot. So going out to eat, I would have to say, is probably right now Texas Roadhouse ribeye. I love ribeye steaks. So. I, I do, too. So like I said, if we're if we're going out for a steak dinner, two places, it's either Texas Roadhouse or Applebee's. Are yeah. the Two places that I like to eat when, you know, when I'm hankering for a steak. And I love sushi and you don't. I don't know who this Susie is, but I sushi. Oh, sushi. Sushi. I still don't know who she is. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't like lobster. See, now I can eat lobster. It's too sweet. That's why I like it, because I like all all types of food. <laughs> I know, but it's too sweet for me. See, now now the one thing I can eat are, are raw clams. It tastes like a balloon. Not clams. Is it clams? Yeah. Yeah. They that. I'm sorry, that tastes like a balloon. I don't yeah. care how much fucking butter you put on it. It still tastes like a balloon with butter on it. No clams, no oysters. Yeah, I can't do oysters either. Okay, so now that we've gone through the list and I'm, just saying. I'm def- definitely like salty foods. Um, <laughs> you're a coffee. salty. You're I'm a saltier. saltier. You're a connoisseur. Yes, I'm a salty connoisseur. You're a saltier. And cough drops. You're feeling inflated? No, why? Where are we? I lost track. <clears throat> functional delivery we did we did instacart we were pretty much um feeling inflated with the prices yep we did that okay uh-huh and we went from there he's looking at notes the, the last page was this one that's the last page that's the that, last page oh can you tell can you tell it's not the last page on mine look at this look at this we got two other pages <laughs> you did you talk them. about did you talk about taste complexity and experimentation yeah we that, did when did you do that let me see it when did we talk about that huh huh uh we we talked you about show huh <gasps> no lot, you know what i'm firing the secretary non-alcoholic beverages on the rise i thought that was this one that was here too this was the next page and sour flavor he I'll stole, put it in my own damn order. He stole my my page. Did we do this one? Suck your teeth at me. I'm sucking on a cough drop. Uh, no. No. All right. Let's... He can do that page. I'm sucking on a cough drop. He gets to do that page, okay? Botanical and herbal flavors. I've expanded beyond your flavor, your your favorite watering hole, and into grocery aisles. You can buy herbs, the little packages for like a book. Botanical and herbal flavors, mm-hmm. so like herbal teas. Yeah, that too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Herbal uh, beers, they have beers yep. with herbs in them. Yep. Uh, sour flavors shifted uh, the consumer's mindset. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's see, moving from tart to re- refreshing with a push from craft beer and functional beverages like kombucha. Kombucha, yeah. And drinking vinegars. Ew. Yeah, people. I, I'm sorry. That, no. Mm-hmm. 
I used to drink stupid stuff before you went out drinking just so that you didn't like puke or you could drink a lot. I'm Irish. We don't have that problem. Well, you know, you know, everybody's like, well, if you're drinking this before you go out drinking, you know, it helps. I, I, <clears throat> I didn't find it helping anything. Yeah. My last name's McHugh. Don't have that problem. <laughs> Ask my brother. I was talking prior to being the of age to drink. Oh, 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 yeah, me too. You know what? <laughs> I think I'm going to expand this so that you are no longer on screen. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't get me started on drinking champagne. <laughs> yeah, Miss Miss can't handle the bubbles. I cannot handle the bubbles. Go straight to her blonde brain. I be tipsy as a mofo. Champagne for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, the ship to more complex mainstream offerings uh, was spring loaded with the rise in bitter flavors and is now leaving the door open for innovations into more experimental flavors. They're that, messing with our margaritas that include sensorial effect. Come on, help me out here. Oh, we're on this page in case you're wondering. Yeah, I am wondering that one right there. You, got, you wrote notes on your page, but not on mine. Doctor's appointment. <laughs> put them on your other page. Well, that doesn't help me when you're on that page with a note. Silly. Yes. Sensory effects. They, sens descriptive cooking. Sensorial. Cues. Sensory. You know, your senses. But that's not what the word says. This it's is the same thing. Sensorial effects. Cooking cues. Descriptive co cooking cues. Savoring influences and ever parlaying into. Umami. Umami. You, Not you, mommy, umami. You, mommy. You know. Uh, let's see. You, growing, mommy, is savory. The growing palate, mainstream complexity, sour and beyond, botanical and herbal twists, experimental flavors, sensorial and cooking cues. In other words, they're telling you how to bring out more flavors by using more herbs. Like Shirley said, jalapeno margarita. I haven't a, tried that it's yet. It's a little on the spicy side, right? A little, little, little hot, hot pop in the mouth. Uh, yes, no, was maybe. It good? Well, she did or put yum it, yum. Or, or is it just the or is it just a flavor of like the pepper, jalapeno pepper? It's not like a hot drink. I don't know. I never tried it. I did we should try a jalapeno margarita. All right. I should try it and then you can have a sip. Oh, that sounds much better. Uh, okay. All right. So, so if you want more of the facts that we found, some additional resources, you can go to www.flavorproducers.com. That's where we got a lot of the facts that we threw out here today. Oh, they put cucumbers in it to tone it down. That's good. Oh, salad pickles. Ew. He doesn't like cucumbers. <laughs> salad pickles, only him. Salad pickles. Where did you ever get that from? What, salad pickles? Yeah, calling a cucumber a salad pickle. Because that's usually the only time I ever see them is in a salad, and I don't like them. Because they look like pickles the way they... I like. I love pickles, and I know they're made from cucumbers. Who told you they were called salad pickles? I told myself that's what I called them. Because they look like a pickle, and it was in a salad. They're a different color. They were round like Different a pickle. Texture. Round like a pickle. When they're sliced, it looks like a pickle slice. And I said salad. And it's in a salad. That's usually what I say. Salad pickles. But Ooh. I peel them and slice them and eat them raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still salad pickles. Oh, they're, okay. they're nasty. Gross. Ugh. Okay, fine. Not my favorite. But you like what I make out of them. Whatever. Whatever you want. If I don't see it, uh, I, I, no harm, no foul. I make pickles. You love my pickles. Well, yeah, I like pickles, I said. That's like that's like <laughs> liking hot dogs and hating bologna. It's the same goddamn thing, pretty much. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, salad pickles. Ugh. I'll I take, cannot, fried, I'll take I, fried bologna. I like fried bologna. I like hot dogs. I, fried I, bologna I like, for the win. I like pickles. I know they come from cucumbers. I don't like cucumbers. See? It's just that simple. Okay. That's an argument for another day. Okay. Take a cucumber, throw it behind your cat, see what happens. I don't know. What happens? The cat will think it's a turd. Really? <laughs> Jump all over the place. 
Remember I showed you the video when people were put, it was on America's Funny Home Videos. They're dropping cucumbers behind their cats. Anybody cat, out there have a cat? Cat would turn around and jump sky high. I know Lenore doesn't. I know Shirley doesn't. So uh, no uh, cats in the house. Uh, we'll have to go get a cat. And try it. Oh, I know. We could have Tabby. Doesn't Tabby have a cat? Tabby has a cat. Hey, Tabby, drop a Tabby. cucumber on the floor behind your cat. Throw a cucumber at your cat. See what happens. No, so. not at your cat. <laughs> Set it on the floor when it's not looking, and then when it <clears throat> turns around, it'll look and go, What the hell is that? It'll uh-huh. jump like nine feet off the floor. Okay, say goodbye, Patrick, while I can still breathe. <laughs> say goodbye, Patrick, while I can still breathe. Did I say it right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed our show today, please like it, share it. If you want the uh, chicken enchilada recipe, Email me at Patrick at 18 wheeltalkcom and I will make sure you get the recipe for our, our for Janet's, excuse me, Janet's chicken enchiladas. Um, I am I am kicking her in the butt to make a create a cookbook. Um, if you haven't done so already, please head over to our Facebook page and give it a like. Just uh when you're on Facebook, just search one eight wheel talk. Um love you too, Lenar. We're on we're on Twitter. We're on Instagram, and uh, if, if you're, you want if, me to smack Patrick upside the head, give a heart. If you're on Twitch, please, please be sure to hit the follow button so you don't miss anything. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> you're getting lots of hearts. Buddy. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> and they're not all mine. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyways, we thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank God it's not lagging anymore. I will finally, I, I promise I will get the, 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 the aspect ratio set perfectly for next show. Join us this Sunday. Maybe this Sunday. Well, it's either yes or no. Can we just wait and see how I feel? We're going to try for this Sunday if I feel up to it. I tell you what, if we if we're gonna do it this Sunday, I will I will make sure to post it somewhere, some way, some shape, some form. We'll post it by Friday night, Saturday morning. We'll let you guys know about game night if we're gonna okay. do it. Okay, right? it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had we enjoyed it. So and uh, we had a good time with this show. And if you like it, like I said, share it with people. And uh, we thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye bye. Eighteen wheel talk. Thank you for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. Be sure to stop by 18wheeltalk.com and check out all the affiliates mentioned in the program today. Remember, we're here coaching generations of drivers while guiding them on their path to success. We'll catch you on the flip side. Spark the revolution. revolution. So tell me, do you have one of those change buckets in your vehicle for fancy cafes? Yeah. And are you looking for a way to help support the show and just don't know how? Well, we have great news for you. It is super easy, and you can do it for as little as $3 a month. Yes, that's right, $3 a month. That means for the cost of a cup of coffee, you could support the show for a month. And if you order one of those foo-foo frappy thingamabobs with all those flavors and whipped cream and sprinkles on top, you could support the show for about six months. Isn't that amazing? Saving you calories from that frappy thingamabob with all those flavors and whipped cream and sprinkled things on top and help out the show. <laughs> What's not to like about that? So to do so, just go to 18wheeltalk.com slash support and you will see just how easy it is to support the show. And don't forget to pick out your fan emoji while you're there. That's 18wheeltalk.com slash support.